Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. We are going to be heading to Skellige in this episode. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright. So I think I can do everything the same with Yennefer that I have. I just don't do that side mission. I think that's it. I honestly think that's it. I just don't do the side mission. Ooh. Why does that guy have no arms? Come on. They said. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. As for Flask, everyone knows him. Alright. Let's go find the ship's captain at the Golden Sturgeon. I almost fell in the water there. That would have been disastrous, because I don't know how far I'd have to have swam to get up. It's just annoying when they do stuff like that. Like, just have the boat up against the wall. Don't, don't give me the opportunity to fall in the water. Are these the drunk idiots? I think these are the drunk morons. Uh, help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. <laughs> Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well... How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Alright, let's head on into the Golden Sturgeon. Where's the door? Here it is. I think this is the back entrance, yeah. I think this is him, right here. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos? So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. <laughs> I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Mm. Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. First, we must drink to the wind. To good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <clears throat> Anchors away!
Uh, Alright, I was confused because I didn't know if it was going to load something else or just sit on that black screen. I didn't know what was going on. So I didn't want to talk. I didn't want it to load in right when I started to talk. And then I was like, alright, well, this is just enough. I'm going to talk. I think we're already here. I think this is where the ship gets into trouble. If I'm not mistaken. Oh no, there's a fight going on upstairs. That's what it is. Alright, time to fight. Come here, you little shits. I'm saying little shits a lot. Last episode, I think I said it a bunch. Oh, you dick. Dick with the shield. Oh my god, now I'm getting trapped in a corner. Get out of here. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! This one guy won't die! Is this where our ship crashes? Crashes and burns? Alright, is it gonna load us in? Load me in. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ard Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Alright. Oh shit, Roach is down there. Come here, Roach. I want to know how Roach got here. That's the real question. How the hell did Roach get here? Thought Roach couldn't swim. Some of the things that don't make sense, like Roach. How did, like, okay, so he can't swim. So how on earth does he get to the other side of the land when you walk across the water? Or when you, not walk across, when you swim through the water? Jeez. 
Alright, we're almost here. One down here and meet Yennefer. That was weird. There was no people here. And people aren't loading in correctly. What the hell is going on? Come on! You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Berna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Me, 
feed and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah. Nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Siri was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. All right, let's go ahead and change clothes. Roach, oh. I'll be back for you later. So I'm actually, this is actually going to take, I, I, you know, I, um, at work, I kind of, you know, I, I only can work in the gas, which I actually am going to work inside next week. I'm not sure how that, how on earth that's going to work. Um, but she said I'd be able to sit down, so that should be interesting. But uh, I, uh, I work out in the gas station, which I can just do whatever the hell I want, other than be on my phone or whatever. Um, 
So I was like trying to map out what videos would go up what day and like how many videos and all of that different junk, but it wasn't ac it's not going to be accurate at all cuz I think I had this pegged as like this has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. No, but I thought um I thought I, I had this pegged for like 40 some episodes, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I guess I'll put on the Skellige tunic she left me. So I guess we'll take off our gloves again. Look proper. Taking off, right. taking off the gloves. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Alright, let's go ahead and get our beard trimmed. The traditional beard trim here when I when I show up. Greetings. Smooth seas this morn. As if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the aisles, most like. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna get a Take new hairstyle. Scissors. Give me a haircut. Tain't something I usually do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveler. Alright, let's get, uh... Let's get a shave, and then we'll go long hair, let's do this first. Long hair, let it down. Um, I don't really like that. Let's try this. Shaved head and ponytail? I got plenty of money so we can check out these different styles. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's try short hair and ponytail. But I think we're gonna end up with a shaved head and ponytail. I think I like that. Oh, that's just what we had. So we want shaved head and ponytail. And then we want to shave our beard. Look like a younger Geralt. And shave, I don't know why he goes to your hair when he's going to shave, but... Sometimes you just don't argue with the game and can It's alright! You look like a young, so strapping Geralt. Alright, guys. Well, I do look really young with this haircut and no beard. I look like, it looks like I shaved off like 30 years. Geralt looks like 60 with the beard and the hair. Now he just, now he looks like 30 with white hair. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out guys.